Hi, welcome to the Zio GMK67 software video. Maybe let me teach you something. What's up guys, Saucetech here. Hope your day is going well. So today I'll be showing you how to download the Zia GMK67 software and then remapping that volume up and down. When you click on it, it mutes, but most people want to change that to play pause. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Let's get started. So the link will be in the description for the software. All you have to do is go to that link, click that download button, and then download it, then open the file. Then you'll extract everything from that folder and then you'll go to the device driver, double click on that, and it'll open this up. And first thing you should do is change the language to English, if you're English speaking, of course. For the keyboard view, you can change the keys to suit your needs, and then you have a FN layer, and then you have momentary and toggle. So you can remap all those keys to whatever you like. However, you can change the volume knob button. The next thing on the list is the macros. I'm not used to making macros or using them at all, so I can't really demo that. So let's go to the next thing. And that would be the lighting modes. They have so many different lighting modes they've already created, and you can choose from one of those or create your own custom set of lights on this page right here. I haven't used that yet because I like the toggle off one. That, was, that one's pretty cool, so I keep it at that one. Now let's remap that volume knob button to play pause instead of mute. What you'll need to do is go to Microsoft Store and then search Microsoft Power Toys or just Power Toys and it'll pop up and then you have to download that. Wait for it to download and then open it up. Once that's opened up, you'll go to Keyboard Manager, open up Keyboard Manager, then you go to Remap Key and then you add a new remap and other key. So you'll remap the volume mute to play pause. So scroll all the way down to volume mute, click on that, and then go to play pause. And then you click OK. Save that. And now let me show you a demo of it working. And I noticed how wonderfully inexpensive secondhand computer components are right now. And now, a few days later, I have a $164 gaming computer that plays Cyberpunk. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, did you find it hard to find this software before watching this video? Also, I'm doing a giveaway for Holy Pan V1 and V2 switches. Link will be below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.